Hey everybody, this is Jeffrey Jansen. Hey, it is Thursday. Well, no, it's actually Friday. It's midnight, 12.17. I thought I'd do a uh, live feed when I know a lot of people are asleep, but it's summertime, so I figured there'd be some people awake and listening. Uh, today is now, since it's Friday, it is the 20, uh, 30th. That's right. It's already the 30th, June 30th, last day of the month. I just got back from... Uh, a trip with a good friend of mine. Uh, he and I had some business um, and taking care of truck drivers and stuff like that, which is awesome. And I hope everybody out there knows there's never at, at the right time or a good time or a bad time to ever be appreciative for the things you have in life. For those people in your life that bring meaning to your life, for your kids, your wives, your husbands, your fiancés, your friends. Um, on the way back, I got to speak with one of my Marine Corps buddies for a while, uh, one of my best friends, Dantes. It was good speaking with him on the way back. I got to speak with a bunch of other people that are just outstanding people. And why am I saying all this tonight? Why am I bringing it up tonight? <clears throat> we all have different personalities for who we are. But sometimes people can be really closed off. And what you need to do is understand that trust and acceptance is a big part of life and how to get by. If you're so worried about nitpicking at the little things that people do, sometimes you're not aware that they're actually doing it on purpose or they're watching the nitpicking. What I'm saying is everybody in life has issues and problems. 22 veterans a day and men and women all over the United States are killing themselves every day because People nitpick. People don't care. They, they're so worried about drama or the latest food on Facebook or who's dating who or, you know, that people become bullies and they don't even see that they're doing it. Now, am I all about this bully revolution and everything else? No. Do I know there are bullies out there? Yes. Um, have I been bullied in the past? Yes. Have I been a bully in the past? Yes. Um, I asked forgiveness and I forgave those that did it and then you also forgive but here's what's the problem we need to learn the acceptance of being nice to each other we need to understand that we don't know what somebody's going through that inside of them there could be a lot of demons not bad demons just just depression anxiety um, social disorder you know failure to adapt to, to society in some psychological terms you know, they may have came from combat. They may be police officers that have PTSD so bad because they're out there every day on the beat. We need to show kindness. We need to show respect. We need to basically be good when others are not. You know, we show our true colors. Instead of trying to sell somebody something, instead of trying to, you know, try to work your way around by if I just talk to them this way, just be honest with them. Look, hey, you're a good person. Here's what's going on. I just want you to know you matter. You're important that you mean something to somebody every day I think of my daughter and I think of what she means to me my entire world and then I see people that have lost kids trying to have kids uh, my mom and dad couldn't have kids I was adopted at birth I'm not afraid to admit that I've got a great family I mean my my mom and dad are awesome I lost my mom when I was young and my dad has never abandoned me and always been on my side I have got a beautiful sister I got an awesome brother-in-law I got three great, you know, awesome nephews that I love with my entire heart, you know. I have a beautiful daughter, you know. I've got aunts and uncles that are out of this world. Now, why do I say that? Has it always been sunshine and rainbows? No. There's been times where, you know, stress, you know, with cancer and depression and everything else. So, there's people out there that have it worse off than I ever did, okay. There's people out there that we need to understand and respect and give a hand out and say hey how you doing put your hand out shake their hand give them a hug let them know they matter sometimes you know people could be testing us just to see if you know we really are religious like you want to preach God to somebody then you might want to have a little faith in him if you're so worried about what other people are doing you can't trust people and you can't say things around people you're so worried about territories and this and that then how can you preach God? How can you sit there and say you're a religious person when you don't even have faith or trust in that of what you're telling everybody they need to? What I'm saying is have faith and trust in each other. Am I a God-fearing person? Yes. Do I always show it? No. Do I have the language of it sometimes? Oh, heck no. 
you know, I am a Marine. I do work with truck drivers. I do have compassion for those that I work with. I do believe in what I do. And sometimes that can cause me to be unfiltered. <laughs> but I love what I do, and I love helping people, and I hope I can help even more. But what I do with these here is I just want you to know that each one of you matters. And when you're out there, the reason why I talk the way I do here, this is the insight on why I do this. To show you that there's a lot going on in somebody's head. But when it boils down to it, being nice, being kind, being respectful. Um, I read a thing where a buddy of mine, Chris Hughes' son, opened a door for a little old lady over in Wyoming. That's awesome. I read every single day how we're raising our kids right. When was the last time I told you that you're a great parent, you're a great mom, you're a great dad? Who cares about the drama? If it's going to work, it's going to work. If it's not, it's not. Here's the thing. Your drama is only keeping you depressed. Your insults and you're attacking each other. How can you attack hate with hate? You know what? Guess what? You're stronger by being a better person, by taking the higher road, by being like, hey, you're right. And that's what I say all the time to people. You're right. Why? Because I'm comfortable with who I am. I'm comfortable with being a single dad who I love my daughter with my entire heart. Okay? But what I'm not, I'm not comfortable with are the people out there that got depression, the people that walk right by them without even giving them the time of day to say, hi, hello, thank you, you're awesome, great. It doesn't cost money to be nice. But you know what it does cost? Time. And if you give that time to them, someday you're going to get that time back just. Why? Because someone's going to do for you what you did to somebody else. And if it's love, if it's greatness, that's what you're going to get back. My name is Jeffrey Jansen. It's getting ready to storm outside. I want you to each know that you're important, that you matter. To all my Marine Corps brothers out there, don't give up. Keep going. Keep being a great parent. Keep being a great person. You're awesome. To all my military family out there. We can't do it without you. We need each and every one of you here today. We need each and one of you to know that you're important. And if somebody hasn't told you today, I'm telling you right now. I'm looking you dead in the eye and telling you, look, you matter. You're important. To all the police officers out there, you guys each matter. Don't take your hate and your anger and everything else on, on everybody else just because people can be evil and cruel. I promise you they're good. And thank you for being a police officer. Thank you for being a firefighter. Thank you for being a teacher. Thank you for being a pastor or a rabbi. Thank you for being a mom. Thank you for being a dad, an aunt, an uncle, a friend. Thank you for being you because each one of you is special. Each one of you has a mission in life. You just don't know it yet. But just because you don't know something doesn't mean it doesn't exist. You're a matter and you're important. Have a great night, everybody. And remember... You're awesome.